What's up everyone, it's your boy Norn, Rad 89 here, bringing you another video for today. It's gonna be a fun physical media video as we go over a new pickup that I got, and that's Halloween 2, the special collector's edition that was released by Scream Factory. I ended up scooping this up from FYE, and today you're gonna hear my thoughts on this film, because this, for many, many years, was my Halloween film. So let's get into this video. Roll it. So yes, Rick Rosenthal's Halloween 2 for, like I said, many years, this was my Halloween film because this was the only one that I owned on physical media as a child within like the VHS era, like when you know when your parents would buy you your VHSs and stuff, my mom, like this was one of the only ones that I had in terms of the Halloween films. Like I had Scream 2, Halloween 2, I think I had a Friday the 13th film and I had something else like the, there's very few like actual horror films I had on VHS at that time and Halloween 2 is one of them so I re I wore this film out pretty much and this one I just love the fact that Rick Rosenthal really did find a way to carry on that atmosphere from John Carpenter's The Thing but not necessarily be a carbon copy of that movie because this film has a lot of other different stuff in it like I said the kills are more gruesome you know John Carpenter's Halloween is much more a subdued type film much more just you know that slow building of the atmosphere and then that epic climax you know what I mean but this film I think has really great kills I actually prefer the Myers performance in this film and that's by Dick Warlock Dick Warlock is an absolute gem and when you hear him on the special features of here like the the interviews that he has he's great he was the stunt coordinator the head stunt coordinator and the the man who played the Myers in this film and just for real, he's an absolute gem. I would love to meet him in person. And there's some really awesome special features on this bad boy, so let's show you the menu screen right here and talk about some of these special features. We have The Nightmare Isn't Over, The Making of Halloween 2, which is a really fun documentary with a lot of interviews. Then Horror's Hollowed Grounds, the locations of Halloween 2, believe the features Sean Clark on there. Deleted scenes, and then the deleted scenes with commentary by director Rick Rosenthal, which was one of my favorites. I love that. The al alternate ending and alternate ending commentary with Rick Rosenthal on it. Teaser trailer. Theatrical trailer, TV spots, radio spots, a TV promo, the newsprint ad gallery, a still gallery, and posters and lobby cards. And also on the third disc, there's actually the script for the film, a DVD-ROM version of the script for this movie. So that's on the third disc, which has the television cut on it. So let's look over this bad boy right here. And yes, Halloween 2, like really love this film it's got these really cool awesome giallo vibes because myers is going around killing people with like a scalpel and then he uses a needle like with the eye sequence one which that's very famous for italian horror films is there's a lot of eye deaths and sequences like that that's your cover art right there and then this does have flip work art so the other uh, artwork is just the cover of the box and this is your original cover art right there in the back and there's your spine of that Sorry if I get that wrong. I always don't know what to do because it's mirror. It's the mirror image. <laughs> but yes, we have the three discs. So there's your 4K disc right there. And then your Blu-ray disc. And then this is the one that has the TV cut on it. And it has the script on there, the DVD ROM version as well. So yeah, I just was so excited to add this to the collection. I believe now I have Halloween 1 two and four and five like this so i'm missing season of the witch and then i didn't pick up any of the the h2o or the curse of michael myers or resurrection i didn't pick up any of those i have those three in like a mirror max like pack thing that has all three movies together i don't know if the ocd like you know collector in me itches at me i might pick those up just to have it like look all nice when they're on the shelf together but i, I definitely do want to get season of the witch even though I don't fancy that movie that much at all. It's not really one of my favorites, but I just, I'm a completionist when it comes to owning like full on the whole collections. Like I really do want to own all the Halloween movies, all the Hellraisers, like and have every one. Like I have all the Friday the 13th. I got all the Nightmare on Elm Streets, all the Child's Play, all the Leprechauns. So I'm just, I'm a completionist type person. Like even if I don't like the films, certain films, I'm going to want the whole franchise just to have because especially when I'm binging, you know, who knows when I'm introducing more people into the horror community or like my son and then my daughters, like how they watch horror movies and they're always diving into them when they want to do binge worthy stuff or watch the whole franchise. I'm going to be down to do it. 
So yes, I highly recommend this release right here in terms of it has the 4K Blu-ray, so you get all kinds of different versions of the film. The TV version, if you want to watch the TV cut version, like I've seen that many times because I've seen this on Monster Fest 2 and the AMC's, you know, Fear Fest. A lot of fun special features with really cool interviews and fun stuff. Like I said, the interviews are really spectacular on here. Dick Warlock is a highlight, one of my favorites, and that commentary with the deleted scenes on Rick Rosenthal really shows you his view of the film and what he was trying to paint the picture of, but he does speak about on the special features that there were a lot of cooks in the kitchen when it came down to this film, but it did come out to be a fantastic film. I think is a very great sequel, and like I said, the only film for me in the Halloween franchise that beats this one is John Carpenter's Halloween. Halloween 2 right here is a very, very close second. And some days, if you do catch me on the right day, there are a lot of things I like better than in this one than John Carpenter's Halloween. So there are some days I might tell you that this is a better film. But I know there's a lot of people out there that are very upset at me about that. Because, you know, there are horror fans and like Halloween community, there's some toxic fandom out there. And this one sometimes gets a lot of hate. And I don't understand. I mean, I think it's because mainly they introduced the whole Michael and Lori brother sister thing. That's a part of it, too. And the part of it is that John Carpenter's Halloween, a lot of people just, you know, even Erwin Yablonce, a lot of the special feature stuff when you hear him talking, it's him just like praising John Carpenter's Halloween and praising it about how it's like it's so unique and it was the first one of its kind and these sequels will never always be you know minuscule because they're sequels you know they'll never match up to it and I'm like you know he's one of those people and it's like I understand that you really do understand that but this film this sequel right here has a lot to offer and I think is a film that a lot of people love and should love or should check out if you haven't seen this film like definitely go check it out and like I said pick up this release it's very much worth it I believe at FYE I scooped this up for I believe this was like twenty nine ninety nine. it was like 30 bucks for this release at FYE so it wasn't that bad and like I said I've just got to find Season of the Witch and then I'll have the first five right there all five of them in that format of the Scream Factory release, which are great releases. They really did could do a good job on that. But thanks for sticking around with me all as we went over this Halloween 2 release and this fun physical media video. Please, if you like this content and you like all this stuff or you like movie rankings, video review, movie reviews, and all that kind of stuff, please, I got a lot of playlists. I got a lot of content, so check out. Like this video, that definitely helps out. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe so you don't miss a thing. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.